In the meantime, we turn to the other major headline here at home. ABC News has now learned that the Biden administration will likely recommend now vaccinated Americans receive a third dose eight months after you are fully vaccinated. The recommendation, which could come as soon as tomorrow, involves the Pfizer and Moderna vaccines, and it's based on new data about how the vaccines hold up over time. Here's ABC's Eva Pilgrim tonight. Tonight, federal health officials are expected to announce as early as tomorrow that they will now recommend all Americans get a COVID booster shot, a third vaccine dose, eight months after you were fully vaccinated. An announcement from the Biden administration could come tomorrow and would affect those who got the Pfizer or Moderna vaccines. This as Israeli scientists release new data, finding Pfizer's vaccine was less effective at preventing severe COVID symptoms among those 65 and older who were fully vaccinated vaccinated back in January. The NIH director today. Vaccine protection does gradually wane over time. In the Israeli data, the people who got immunized in January are the ones that are now having more breakthrough cases. That's the same thing we're starting to see in the U.S. data. David pressing Dr. Fauci last week on what the Israelis are seeing in their data and why they're ahead of us in recommending a third shot. It would seem the Israelis, though, are ahead of us on this. Just today, approving booster shots uh, for 50 and older starting next week, 40 and older expected a short time after that. So, so what are they seeing in the numbers that we're not? What they're seeing in their population, David, is that when they go down over several months, they do pretty well, and then they have what looks like a pretty sharp drop in the efficacy. What, what holds up well, which is good news, is that they still get good protection against severe disease leading to hospitalization and death. But the protection against symptomatic infection and early infection has gone down considerably. Now, a third shot likely here in the U.S. for everyone. The booster shot rollout could begin as early as next month, pending FDA authorization. The idea is that those who were first in line when the vaccines first rolled out would essentially be the first ones eligible for the booster, and that would be healthcare workers, residents of nursing homes, and then eventually the gradual expansion to the rest of the population. It comes as the Delta variant tears across much of the U.S. In Texas, statewide hospital ICU capacity now reaching more than 90 percent. Governor Greg Abbott, who has resisted mask mandates there, now testing positive for COVID-19 despite being vaccinated. He says he is asymptomatic so far. This afternoon, the federal government confirming it will extend its mask mandate for travelers on planes, trains and buses into January. David, the president and his COVID response team are expected to talk about boosters tomorrow. The administration acknowledging they have their work cut out for them, pushing boosters while still trying to convince millions of unvaccinated Americans to get that first shot. David. 